Hi guys, Adam from Middles Panel Builders with a quick tip for you on the G3X system with uh, some of the newer software on uh, actually I think 9.20 and beyond. As you may already know, we have logic levels that can be set in the EFIS uh, that we can do various different things with. One example is uh, you can set the flaps range to be all red with an alert when you're above VFE. And then that way if the flaps are in that range when you go above VFE, then you get a warning. What I'm gonna show you real quick is gonna be especially applicable to anybody that flies behind a four, uh, four stroke Rotax engine and just a, a very easy thing to set up here uh, as everybody knows that flies those engines you have uh, 5800 rpm maximum uh, but you can only do that for five minutes so that's takeoff power after that you're limited to 5500 rpm max continuous uh, so what I'm going to show you here real quick is how to set a timer up so that if you're between 55 and uh, beyond 5500 and beyond rpm for more than five minutes we're gonna set a alert to come up so that uh, the RPM range is blocked out in that region after that point happens. So let me show you how we do that. Okay, so here we are in the G3X touch system in config mode. So to do this, we're gonna go to engine and airframe and we're gonna pick RPM one. And right now we have our RPM gauge set up for any four stroke Rotax engine as it would need to be set. Uh, so what we're gonna do is add on to that. First, we're gonna set a new gauge marking and call it invisible range. Minimum RPM is going to be 5510 up to 6000. And this is just to prevent any nuisance uh, trips of this. We're going to go mode, set logic signal, and in our case, will be signal level one and save. We're going to make another new one. We're going to call it another red range, or we're going to make a new red range plus alert rather. This one's also going to be 5510 up to 6000. And the reason we're setting 6000 is because that's the maximum of the gauge display range. We're going to go mode, require, logic signal set, and again, that's going to be signal level one. Now, if we do nothing else at this point, what would happen is as soon as we enter that invisible range of 5510 to 6000, it sets that logic signal, and then all of a sudden we get this red range plus alert, which is obviously not what we want. So to fix that, what we're going to do is hit save. We're going to go to settings. We're going to configure our logic signals. And now you can see we have logic signal one set by RPM and we have delay before set and delay before clear and this is the key so i'm going to delay this by 300 seconds before it sets which will be five minutes and i'm also going to do the same delay before clear so that even if you exit this range uh, now you're going to have to wait five minutes before your rpm limitation disappears and that's it now we can't test this unfortunately given that this is all fade -ec and it's red x however if we are at 5510 through 6000 RPM for a period of five minutes or more, this red range plus alert is going to show up because that logic level one is gonna get set. And that's all there is to it. Okay, so as a quick bonus for our TSI customers, we're gonna do the same type of thing with our flaps. So if we scroll down here and we go to flat position, uh, well, first thing we're gonna do is set up an invisible range and minimum is going to be one degree, maximum will be 30 degrees, and then this will set another logic signal, we're going to call it two, and save. Then we're going to do the same exact thing with a red range plus alert, except we're going to require that a logic level is set, and it's going to be signal number two once again, and then we'll save that. Now, if we go to our settings, configure our logic signals. You can see now number two is set by flaps. Uh, I already had this programmed in here. So airspeed threshold minimum with a minimum airspeed of 85 knots. So 85 knots is the VFE. So if you are um, at least 85 knots, then this will be able to set. If you are below 85 knots, this will not set and that red range will not come up. So what will happen is when you do cross that 85 knot threshold, uh, the flaps indication right here is going to turn red and uh, up from one degree to 30. So if your flaps up, nothing's going to happen. But if you're beyond flaps up, then you will get the red cast alert that says flaps with the blinking master caution. And then you'll know that you need to slow down a little bit. Thanks for watching this quick overview of the logic level signals on the G3X touch system released from 9.20 onwards. Uh, as you can see, we can do some pretty powerful things with this now, uh, mainly for the situational awareness aspect, but you can do some other cool things with it as well. So I hope this kind of helps give you some ideas as to how you can personalize your system for your own kind of flying. 
If you have any questions about this or anything else on the G3X Touch system, leave a comment or get in touch with us through our normal channels. We look forward to talking with you. See you in the next one.